Hello friends, welcome to the fifth video of linear regression analysis. In this video, we are going to talk about the evaluation matrix which are used for evaluating the regression model. There are different evaluation matrix for a machine learning model like a classification model and regression models. In this video, we will explain about regression matrix which is uh, evaluating the regression model. So let's start. There are uh, many other uh, matrix but I am going to cover these matrix in this video mean absolute error, mean squared error, root mean squared error and R squared. First we need to understand what is residual error. So what is residual error? Residual error is the difference between the actual value and predicted value. Here you can see in the graph the straight line is the best fit line. Here are the red dot which is actual value and the blue dot indicate that is predicted value. This predicted value are predicted by the our regression model. So we are find out the difference between actual value and predicted value. That is the our residual error. This residual error is used to calculate all these matrix. Mean absolute error. Mean absolute error is a very simple matrix which is calculated calculate the absolute difference between the actual and predicted value. This is the formula of mean absolute error. N is the number of error. Summation mean sum of all the value of absolute error and the absolute error is the difference between the actual value and predicted value. To better understand let's take an example. So we have actual data. This is actual data and this is predicted values. Now this is the answer of minus predicted value from the actual value. But we calculate the mean absolute error. So here we use the absolute value of error difference. So now to calculate the mean absolute error we add all those values addition will be 63 and then divide this value from the number of error. The number of error is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These 5 uh, here calculate the mean. So, so our uh, mean absolute error will be 12.6. Here we find the mean absolute error using the Python code. Here I have actual data and predicted data in the list format. Now to calculate the mean absolute error here, I first input library, then we find the mean absolute error. You can see the mean absolute error in the same as we calculate the manually in the previous slide. That is 12.6. Mean squared error. Mean squared error is the most used and very simple matrix which is a little bit of change in the mean absolute error. Mean squared error state that, state that finding the squared difference between the actual and predicted value. Calculating the mean absolute uh, squared error are similar to the variance. To calculate the mean squared error, we subtract the predicted value from the actual value. This is the formula of mean squared error. Now let's see how to calculate the mean squared error. Here we use the same data to calculate the mean squared error. While calculating the mean uh, absolute error, here we took the absolute value. But here we are going to take squared of them. Minus 12 will become 144. Minus 3 will become 9. Minus 10 will become 100 and so on. So at last we add all those values calculate the mean of these values. So uh, sum of these values is 1047 and mean then we calculate the mean and this will be our mean squared error 209.4 here we find the mean squared error using Python code here I have same data which is used to uh, which is used for find out the mean absolute error. Sorry, squared error. 
Now to calculate the mean squared error, here I first import the library, then we find the mean squared error. You can see the mean squared error is the same as we calculate the manually in previous slides 209.4 root mean square error this is square root of mean squared error this is the formula of calculated for root mean squared error after finding the mean squared error simply find out the square root of this mean value which is calculated in the previous slide and we will get the root mean squared error so now you see this value is closer to mean absolute error root mean square error is the standard deviation of residual error residual are, uh, are as measure of how far from the regression line data points RMSME is measure of how spread out these uh, residual error. In other words, it tells how you concentrate the data is around the line of best fit. R squared. R squared is a statistical measure in a regression model that determines the proportion of variance in the dependent variable that can be explain, explained by the independent variable in other words r squared show how well the data fit regression model so r squared can take any values between 0 and 1 now here we take another data to explain how to calculate the r squared this is the actual values 2 4 6 and 7 and these are predicted value and this is the mean value of these values this is the mean value of these values. Now here we calculate the error difference and then here we take square of them. And this is the sum of this is the sum of these values. Now here we subtract the mean value from the actual value. So these values are negative. Now we squared up these values here and at last sum of them and the sum, uh, sum of these values is 14.74.75. So now we calculate all the required value for calculating the R square. Now this is the formula of R squared. We need to fit all the values in it. At last we get these values 0 0.8954. Now to calculate the R squared in Python, here I first import the library then we calculate the R squared. Here you can see R squared score 0 0.8832. It is not exact but it is much similar to calculatable calculated by manually so that's it for today thank you